to make a stronger like fit. Um, but the the thing that I, um, I I think I figured out pretty well is that it's not too hard to pull off, but it's enough where it keeps it in place. And that's one of the big things when you're using magnets, you don't want it to be too weak or too uh, hard to get off. Um, I think if I had used a, anything smaller than this, it would have been too hard to get off. But since it's a bigger piece, you get more leverage when you yeah, yeah. pull out of it. And then I see on the side, you put like a finger hole. Yes, there's a little, I think it's um, an eighth of an inch long, or sorry, um, 0.8 long, an inch. And it had to be a tenth of an inch deep in order to be able to get to the point where you're able to put your finger under the top layer. Exactly. Oh, uh, like Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of small things that I had to put into. And this joint, this little notch is on both sides. So either side that you pull from, you're able to get up. But I didn't put it on each one, so there's... Yeah, the only pieces that are glued, like this. Toys group renovation. Yeah, there's, this wobbles just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna work on next time. The reason why there's theory? Uh, yeah. What's that? Experimentation and theory, right? Uh -huh. The reason why there's different fields. Right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thanks. The only um, the pieces, the only things that are glued are is this bottom layer and the top surface. Everything else is just held together by friction by the friction of the finger joints. So it's a, uh, everything's a pretty tight fit, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Are these earlier prototypes those or are, Those are um, the same as these, but they're, point, they're, they're a tenth of an inch too big. So they on would what fit on dimension? Uh, I think it's 10.4. Oh, like you mean it, it's not fitting in the... Yeah, it's not fitting in here. Oh, okay. They, uh -huh. They're meant to be 10.3, so they fit... Because the, the dimensions, the outer dimensions, are um, 10 and a half inches. Uh-huh. So, any, and this material is a tenth of an inch. So okay. I, I forgot, I only took one... I only took in the, into account one side instead of both sides. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the same thing with this layer. Um, this is what's uh, glued on here. And it has the scoring where uh, it helped me to know That's where That's your go. reference for when you're exactly. gluing it? Exactly. But this okay. is also a, a tenth of an inch too big. And in uh -huh. this version, I actually made it, instead of 10.3, I made it 10.25. And the reason for that is so it fits easily into this uh, mm -hmm. opening. Because you have the magnets to secure it. Exactly. You so it doesn't like... need to be an exact fit. It could be a mm -hmm. little, little less. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Did you try different magnets or you just got a nice feel yeah, on your first try? I did. Um, they're really small magnets. Mr. Benoit uh, has them onto us. Me and uh, another student who's out here are doing the chessboard and he also used magnets. Um, but these were small and they have a really uh, strong grip. So yeah. they worked really well for this. And I think the, this is a point um, 107 diameter hole. So it's a very small fit. Mm -hmm. And we were able to just with um, some clamps, or sorry, some uh, pliers forcing into the wood wall. And uh -huh. it didn't damage the wood. And, it, and they fit. There's no glue for There's the magnets? No glue. I say it's just yeah. being held by the tightness of the hole. Yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Did you get that on your first try? You just got the. You we made a hole that was. Or do you have a. It. We had a little reference thing. Yeah. John, you're up. But you're gonna be quick too. Things get moved around. I'm not sure if I'll find it, but there was um, a little jig that had um, different size holes. That makes point, sense. Point, yeah. point 105, point 106. And we tried it on different holes to see which one would fit best. And we found that that hole was the one that actually is the best. Yeah, I'm not sure where it went. But that was what let us know which type of hole to use. And I also have a lot of, like, scabs here. This um, side piece broke. Right here, but right here. 
and uh -huh. that was happening when I was forcing, trying to push this into place. Mm -hmm. And that was because these original holes, it was these that I was putting it in, they were too big. And these are these are filed down, these were not. So when I was putting it in, it broke. And since there's not a lot of wood here because of the little groove I made, it's broke. Did you change the design after that, or is uh, it you just no, fixed the, just, the sizing so that yeah. it would fit in without being forced too much? Uh, yeah, I made these smaller because these were too big, and I sanded down the fingers. So when I w went to put them on again, I made sure to do it gently mm -hmm. and to not force it in if it didn't want to go in. Instead, take it out, sand it, and then try it again. I really like the staggered fingers. I don't think I've seen that before, but yeah. it's it's a nice touch. Thanks. Yeah, I had to do these um, manually, so it wasn't any um, template. And what I did, I zoomed in on cuddle all the way, and I made sure that this distance from this top finger uh, finger slot and the top of the piece was the same thickness as the wood that I'm using, so that when it sits there. Those holes aren't going to mess with the top piece of this. So when this is laying flat, it still gives you a chance to put your finger in, but it doesn't uh -huh. impede, I guess, on your top layer. Right, exactly. Yeah. And do you want to explain all the Easter eggs? I see there's oh, yeah. Morse code and then there's digits on yes, the yes. top. So this top piece. It has um, binary, a binary message, and it has, I think it, it, it's six characters because there's only 49 of these, and it has my initials and then uh, the initials of other people as well, and this is just, just kind of a personal thing, I just felt like putting it there. Um, they're made of little acrylic pieces that are a quarter inch on each side, yeah, 0.25, and I had to make sure that the thickness of all these materials was the same so that it remained flush on it. And then on the sides, there's an order to this. So, yeah, it starts here. So I play chess um, with one of my friends, and whenever I play with him, he always says, when in doubt, make leverage. So Make a what? Make leverage. Okay. And I, I thought it was a fun thing to put on the side. Uh-huh. Um, so it goes up to here. And then kind of in uh, a strange message to put on the side, but when you play chess, the white pieces go first. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, it just says here, the white moves first. So, yeah, it's not really that, I guess, uh, of a valuable little message. But I think still it's still fun. It's fun but, all those different touches. And this was kind of an afterthought, the binary, but I was about to submit my final SVG file uh, to mm -hmm. send it to uh, Benoit, and then I thought, you know, maybe I could put it on the side here. So I went forward and did it, and it took like an extra week to make sure all the alignments were right, and to have them so they're centered, not only on the pieces, but on the height. And uh, they're the same height all around. Um, so you just use text to, it's like hyphens and dots, uh, or do you are, lay them are, out? Yeah, these are rectangles. And oh, circles. wow. And there's, there, there's different spacing, so I'm pretty sure if I'm, remembering, if I'm remembering correctly, the spacing between characters in a letter is 0.1. The spacing between ah. sets of characters in a word is 0.2. And then the spacing between letters in a word is 0.3. So, mm -hmm. just to make sure they all stay the same. And you can still see, like, you can still distinguish, like, this is one character, this is mm -hmm. another, this is another. So, it, all, it wasn't all just one straight, like, I guess kind of a mess of binary. Or sorry, more. And then the pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, the pieces. So, my original design for this did not include a, um, three pieces of material. It originally just had the um, the white acrylic and the wood, and the idea was that they would lay flat on the board and would move like this. Mm -hmm. But when I started um, gluing these together, I accidentally placed one of them flush with the bottom side instead of right. center, 
and I realized that they stood up pretty well. So I asked uh, Mr. Benoit if he could cut out another set of these wood pieces, and I would and I glued them on the opposite side as well. So they're kind of sandwiched. They're sandwiching the um, acrylic, and that allows them to stand up. And when you're playing with the other person, they're gonna see the same piece as you see. Mm -hmm. not playing with them. Yeah, and that was kind of also another afterthought similar to this. I hadn't originally planned to do this, but mm -hmm. kind of through an accident, it happened, and I think it turned out well. And this is all we, we used to do for all these. Um, yeah. For doing this and this and this course. And the nice thing about super glue, what Mr. Ben was telling me, is that the chemicals used in it, I think, melts a little bit of the acrylic, but also seep into the wood. So it makes a really good fit mm -hmm. for gluing acrylic to wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I've done any acrylic to wood. Yeah, it was... I, I originally, I wasn't even thinking about using acrylic either, but I think that they complement each other. Mm -hmm. the light wood and the white acrylic. And then the same for the um, the black pieces. You have black acrylic, yeah, and, and walnut um, wood. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I do too. It's great. And you, is there some kind of a finish in there? Yeah, this is all uh, finished wood. So okay. 